Welcome to this week's episode of Ask Your Excel Question. Before we start with this week's episode, I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed to this channel so far. We have actually reached 10,000 subscribers last week. Uh, it means a lot to me and I am very, very thankful for your support. I hope to continue to provide similar useful videos on Excel and Excel templates in days and months to come. And I look forward to your continued support as well. Now let's move on to this week's episode. We're going to learn how we migrate data from one Excel file into an Excel template. So this video is going to be applicable to all the templates that I've published. So I've published more than 50 Excel templates on nzara.com and this is applicable to those templates. However, I'm going to just use one as an example to illustrate, but the concept applies to all the templates. If you're using any of the templates that I've published, then you can use this method to quickly migrate the data from one copy to a blank template. So now let's get started. So now I'm going to use the recruitment manager Excel template as the for illustration here. So what you see on the left is a file where I've already entered the data um, and uh, on the right is a blank template. So here, for example, if I go to the job sheet, there's no data. If I go to the job sheet in my left file, there is data. So I have already entered the data here and I want to migrate all this data over to the new file. And um, there are many reasons why you may want to migrate. Uh, one thing is, for example, if this file, somehow you made an error and you edited the formulas by mistake. So there are formula cells. So the green ones here, and then the, there are green ones in this sheet. These are formula cells. So if in case by mistake you edited them and they are not correct anymore, so then you want to basically, you know, start uh, uh, reset your file so that you get the accurate formulas in place. Another reason might be you want to only move part of the data, maybe the, this year's data over to the new file, not the last year's data. So there are many reasons why you may want to migrate data from uh, a, a file to a blank template. So the steps are the same. The first thing is to identify your input sheets. Input sheets are usually where the you are entering the data. So for example, here, these are input settings that I will I, I can enter as a user. So these are this is an input sheet. Jobs is an input sheet because here's where I'm going to enter all the jobs that I have I'm hiring for. And then applications is an input sheet because this is where I'm entering all the data about my candidates. But the dashboard sheet is not uh, is not an input sheet because here everything is automatically calculated. Similarly, the job report sheet is also not uh, an input sheet because it's all automated. So some, a sheet which is fully automated with formulas, so you don't have to write any or input any values or data, then that means it's an automated sheet. Um, otherwise, it's an input sheet. So first identify which sheets are input sheets. And then now let's say we have identified the first input sheet here. I'm going to copy your input data, select control C for copy, go to your blank template, right click here, and then paste as value. So the important thing here is to paste as values. Don't just copy and paste it as control V. Um, you select right click and then do paste as values. Um, I like to do this because if there was any other formula or formatting from your old sheet, it will not get carried over to the new one. Because these are input values, uh, all we need is the value. We don't need anything else. Uh, the formatting and anything is not necessary. So the second step is to go to the second input sheet. Here it is the jobs. Um, here we have many columns, so I'm going to select everything. But please pay attention here that these are all input columns, but these are calculated fields. I, we should not select the calculated fields. I'm going to only select the input columns here, control C for copy. I'm going to go to the right side here, and then I'm going to right click, same approach, paste as values. Okay. Now we can now go to the calculated columns and you can see that the calculated columns are, um, you know, still automatically getting calculated um, because you will, if you click inside, you'll see that the formulas are there. So that means that those are all fine. Now let's go to the next input sheet applications and same approach select all the input columns not the formula control C go to the application sheet on the right side new blank template and then paste as values. 
So please always note that you're going to paste it inside the table. Don't change the uh, column name header or anything. Start from the first row of the table data and then paste as values. And you will also see that the formulas are still fine. Be even though we only copied and pasted the input data, the formulas were already there. So we don't have to um, redo anything. Now, I think we're done. In this, in this template, we only have three input sheets, settings, jobs, and applications. Um, in other templates, there may be less or more sheets, but the approach is still the same. Find the input sheets, select the input values, don't select the formulas, only the input values, and then go to your blank template, paste it inside the table. So you, you would notice that I, I pasted inside the table. I didn't paste it um, randomly. You know, maybe if I paste it somewhere here, it's not going to work. You need to paste it inside the table, inside the Excel table. So I right clicked in the first row of the table and then paste it as values. So as long as you do that without touching any of the formulas, we are fine. Um, so I'm going to maximize this now that we have copied over all the data. Um, now we are looking at the blank uh, template that we have just now filled with data and we go to the dashboard and nothing is there. And that's because this template uses pivot tables and we have to refresh the data. There you go. So now everything looks fine. It's all ready to go and you can save this file and then th you can continue to use this file as your file from now on. So just to recap, what we have done here is from an existing file where you already have some data in the template, but you want to migrate it over to a blank copy or a blank file of the template, then do it like this. On the left, you have the data, and then on the right, you have the blank template. Identify the input sheets, select the values, and then here, paste as values, and then don't touch any of the formula columns. That's it. The one catch here is that I'm assuming here that you have not made any changes to the order of the column. So for example, um, if you decided to change the order of the columns in the, let's say job sheet. In the job sheet, if by any chance you have moved the department over here and the hiring manager over here, then you need to pay very close attention because we are just copying and pasting over, assuming the columns are ordered in the same way. If you have customized the template for your own needs, then you should make sure that you reorder the columns before you copy and paste so that the correct information goes in the correct column. So that's it, pretty simple. Um, always uh, back up your data. And then um, if you need to migrate your data to a new blank copy of the file, you can use these simple steps. And uh, if you need your uh, blank template again from me, please uh, email uh, and then I'll be able to send that file over to you. If there are any questions about this process, please post them in the comments. And if you have any other questions or suggestions for next week's episode, please post them in the comments. I will see you all in the next episode of Ask Your Excel Question. Thank you very much for watching.